What is going on, everybody? Sports expert here. We do have some breaking news in the college football. So we have some more transfer news to talk about. We have a couple commitments I want to go over. So before we start the video, please hit the subscribe button to the channel. Turn on the post notification bell. Like the video, comment what you think. Liking and commenting helps us in the algorithm, so we'd appreciate that very much, guys. So let's get right into it. As Hank Bachmeyer, the former Boise State and Louisiana Tech quarterback, he's been in college since 2019. He was with Boise State for a few seasons, transferred over to Louisiana Tech after the 2022 season, and then he hit the portal again this offseason with one more year of eligibility. He is expected to transfer to Wake Forest. So Wake Forest, they've been looking for a quarterback for a bit ever since Mitch Griffiths hit the transfer portal, and they didn't get a lot of production out of their quarterback position this season. All they really have at this point is Michael Kern as Santiago Marucci also hit the portal. So yeah, Wake Forest, they have a lot of you know work to do when it comes to re facilitating that offense because you know they've lost Wesley Grimes, they lost Keyshawn Williams, they lost Jamal Banks. Banks is huge because I thought he was their best receiver this year for sure. So that's a tough loss. But Wake Forest, they are getting a new guy in Bachmeyer. And I think Bachmeyer is a solid player. I think he was injured a bit last year. That definitely didn't help Wake Forest either. So that's something to look out for. It's like he has a lot of upside, but just couldn't fight through the injuries. And that kind of cost him throughout the year. But Wake Forest, they needed somebody. And they go out and get Bachmeyer, a guy that has never started at the Power 5 level but has started at Boise State plenty, which is a pretty solid Mountain West program and a group of five program. So he has some, he has a lot of experience in college though, and Wake Forest definitely took that into consideration. So yeah, but it's an all right fit. They were actually expected to host Curtis Rourke on a transfer visit recently, but it doesn't sound like that's gonna happen anymore. It sounds like Indiana might end up being the favorite for Rourke now that Bachmeyer is headed to Wake Forest and Vanderbilt also hosted Bachmeyer, I believe, him and Cyrus Allen. So that won't be happening either. Maybe they're going after Cole Snyder from Buffalo, Vanderbilt. But looking at it, Bachmeyer, you know, maybe his teammate Cyrus Allen had a solid season at Louisiana Tech, 778 yards. Follows him to Wake Forest would be a nice addition for the Demon Deacons. So yeah, we'll see what happens there. But Louisville also had a commitment today. They had Thor Griffith, defensive tackle from Harvard commit today. So that was an intriguing addition. Right when he hit the transfer portal, his preferred destinations were Michigan and Ohio State, but neither team offered. So he went after the Louisville money, I guess. And hey, he's ending up in Jeff Brom's team and we'll see how he does in that defense. So Griffith, you know, a very freak athlete, was on Bruce Feldman's freak list. He was actually eighth. So pretty highly up there. And he's a guy that's going to be very sought after as one of the better defensive players in the ACC possibly by the end of next year. He's a guy that, you know, has a lot of upside at Harvard. Didn't get the show too much because he's at an FCS school, Ivy League school, but going to the FBS at Louisville, who had a really great season. I mean, it was an amazing season, but it was a solid season. They won 10 games. Yeah, I would say definitely helps for Louisville as a look to add some talent on that team as they already added Tyler Shuck, the quarterback. We made a video on that last week. But Griffith, very freak athlete. He's a guy that's going to get to the quarterback. He can stop the run. He can do it all. He's a really good football player, one of the better defensive players in the transfer portal. And it's a great pickup for Louisville. I don't think there's any doubt about it. Definitely going to build the trenches. That's what you have to do in 2023 college football. 2024, you got to build the trenches. And Dora Griffith is going to be a huge piece to that. And they also added one more commitment. Not going to spend too much time on this one, but he was a first team all Ivy League, I believe. Jonathan Mendoza, the offensive tackle from Yale. He is also transferring to Louisville. So a nice possible starting option there for Louisville in the offensive line to help protect Tyler Shuck and Jeff Brown's offense. So I appreciate everyone being here. Sports expert, please hit the subscribe and review the channel. Turn on the post notification bell. Like the video, comment what you think. We appreciate that very much, guys. I'm out, guys. Sports expert here. Peace.